Hello everyone, Louie here with TPC, and today we want to talk about whether there really is a difference between utilizing a holster with some form of retention versus a true race holster. We're going to do that two times, testing these holsters against each other, utilizing the TPC Drawmaster Challenge. Before we move forward, we would like to thank our longtime supporters, HSL Ammunition. If you want to be really fast, but never miss, be sure to check their website. We will post it on the description below. The Drawmaster Challenge you can find on our website, but in a nutshell, it's just testing the efficiency and effectiveness of a single shot draw from a stationary position. We're going to be at four yards. We have our TPC Drawmaster target, as you see here. Depending on how quickly you can engage this target will give you a varying number of points. You have to do it in under two seconds or two seconds or less and strike the target. Any of those shots that don't hit the target or go over time, it's an automatic fail. So if you're two seconds or under, a hit in the dark gray zone will give you one point. In the light gray zone, three points. In the center bullseye, you get five points. Now, if you're under one and a half seconds to one second, the points double. In the dark gray, you have two points. If you hit the light gray, six points, and the bullseye is worth 10 points. Now, if you're a speed demon and you're under one second, any hit on the target is worth 10 points. It has to at least break the outer edge line to get 10 points. We'll do this a total of five times. At the end, we add up our score in terms of our points and we get a ranking. So we're gonna go and try this. Uh, first, I'm gonna use this Blackhawk Omnivore holster. It does have active retention. It's a good training holster because I can use it for varying types of guns as long as I have the right flashlight attached to the, to the gun. It's a good training holster. Maybe not something I would use on duty, but it really works well for the range. I'm also utilizing my old duty gun, which is an STI Tactical and 40. Yes, I carried this on duty since 2013, long before they became popular. It served me really well and actually got me out of some bad situations. So here we go. All right, now the TPC Drawmaster using a holster with active retention. We're here at four yards, here we go. Stand by. That's a 121. Here we go, stand by. The 122. Stand by. To 121. Stand by. To 132. Stand by. And a 142. So let's take a look at the target now. All my shots were under 1.5 seconds. So I have three in the bullseye and then one in the light gray, actually two touching the light gray. We'll add it the points, you'll see it down below. So now that we've done the draw master with a holster with active retention, we're gonna do the same exercise utilizing a true race holster. I'm going to be using this Safari Land 015. Unfortunately, they discontinued this model, but it's very similar to many other open race holsters out there. We'll see if it really does make a difference. Same gun, same exercise. Here we go. Stand by. Ninety-seven, just on the edge. Ninety-eight. 
92. Ninety four, ninety two, last one, and a ninety one. So my first shot is right on the edge. All shots, though, were under one second. Hitting the edge, the rest were all clustered around the bullseye. I'll take that. So is there really a difference between a true race holster and a holster with retention? The answer is a little bit, but not as much as most people think. The true advantage to a race holster is the adjustability, being able to adjust it exactly to my physiology. And secondly, once it releases, there's very little that can get in the way of a good draw. So utilize these TPC challenges to help you make informed decisions about your gear and training. In this case, I utilize our TPC Drawmaster to compare the differences between a holster with active security versus a true race holster. Now, of course, you want to choose the gear for your given environment. But in this case, it's a very, very repeatable test that I can use to see whether or not there's a difference between active retention versus a true race holster. Many of our challenges allow you to do just that to compare apples and apples, same exercise, and then you can compare your individual achievements utilizing different gear, or if you make a change to your techniques or your training approach. So our TPC challenges are designed specifically to test an isolated skill. Much of the scientific research has shown that Applying very strong awareness to a specific skill will help you develop that skill faster and myelinate it or make it habit much faster. You will achieve that level of subconscious competence much sooner if you focus very, very narrowly on specific skills. And then later, after you've developed these skills, you can then combine these skills into a larger test which is one reason we highly recommend competitive shooting for all the shooters out there to then utilize that environment to test their overall skills. We teach reactive shooting science, which was founded by the late Ron Avery. His background in science led him to uncover what were the principles and purposes behind all of the small components that make a good shooter. Utilizing these challenges will help you in determining what works best for you, and utilizing a testing and evaluation process is much better than by going on what feels faster or what feels better. So use these challenges, let us know how you do on them, and we hope to see you on the range. If you like the video, visit the online training page on our website, or check the calendar section to sign up for our in-person courses. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.